this sort of hit us for the last 10 minutes. Uh, what do you attribute that to? We made some shots. I thought we had pretty good shots. We were usually pretty good from the foul line. We struggled from the foul line. Doesn't do much good to throw it inside if you know we're not going to make free throws. So, um, people stepped up, played well. When we can play him at point, it gives us more scoring, obviously. And I thought he and Issa both of them played well. Let's make big shots again. And Derek was Derek. I think we, in terms of Derek being Derek, I mean, not that he's going to double double every game. But, his rebounding, is that something you've seen consistently? Can, can you depend on that? Game he he game could out? be an elite rebounder. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt about that. His, his strength and his athleticism, he's got good hands. Um, you know, I, think, I think he could be an elite rebounder. We just, we just got to get him to understand that you know, he makes some, makes some dumb plays. He made the play where it's, you know, the guy had no chance to make the shot, and he put his hands down and smacked him across it. Across the arms, and we just got to get them to be a little more sound and, and be nice. If we could run a set, we could turn up to. He said, he said Eric, Eric tried to get him to slow down a little. We all did, sort of uh, shooting him up with some kind of downer. <laughs> I'm sure it's on the approval list. <laughs> yeah, probably, not, probably not. But. Yeah, he's, but he, he was that way in high school. He just goes too fast. And, and once he gets slowed down, he's he's pretty good. We get him to get slowed down, get his head on the rim. He didn't have his head on the rim today. He passes well. He's a willing passer. I don't know if he's a good passer, but he's a very willing passer, which is rare. Yeah. Especially with this team. Yeah, especially with this team. It's rare. We're a, we're a dribbling team. Can't drill. Has that been part of Jordan's struggle to get acclimated here that he was able to break down people on the dribble in high school and here he's got to figure out different ways? Well, I mean, when you're, when you, um, how do I say it? Lack the, I can say it because I, I, I experienced it. When you lack the foot speed that other people have, you have to be a lot more intelligent. You know, you have to, you have to, you have to understand about attacking the lead foot. Don't attack the back foot. Attack the lead foot. Uh, yeah, you have to understand about getting people off balance. You have to understand when you can, uh, you know. You look at you look at tape and you try to figure out who you can get up in the air and get under um, to get to the foul line. You know, I think I think the play. Uh, I mean, it looks like if that was Beal, he probably has a layup, and they two of them run him down and, and get the ball from him. But I, you know, I don't, I don't think he understands sometimes the effort that he has to put forward because he's not, he's not I mean, he's just not as fast as those other guys, and that's okay, you know, you know. But you got to, you have to compensate with something, and, and you know, generally speaking, I think intelligence is a thing. I think he got shook up when he shot that air ball. You know, he made a couple shots and. And I think he was feeling pretty good about himself, and then he shot that air ball, and then he kind of went a little bit more in the shell. Well, you get a lot of effort out of Beal most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but the play he made today, going out of bounds, flipping the ball back behind his back, getting back inbound, and then finding him and getting the ball. I mean, that, that, was, that was not only a big play in the game, but I mean, it kind of, kind of said something about him. Well, Bob, he's played, he's played hurt. I mean, he's been hurt. I think today is the healthiest he's been all year. Um, he was able to get through the ball today. He was, he was pushing everything because of the, because of his, his hand. And, and today, I think, he, I thought he shot it well yesterday. And, and yesterday, I thought he, I told him yesterday, you know, we got to get you off the ball some because you're going to have to score for us. I, I, I like playing him and Chase together because Chase is very capable of making shots as well. He didn't make any today, but generally speaking, he shoots it pretty well. There's just two guys that we can get things spread to where Issa can do his thing off the ball, and hopefully we'll get somebody we can throw the ball to in the post. You said uh, that Beetle scores better, though, from 
or at least you like him better at the point because it gives you an extra score out there. But you started Jordan. You, you still start to get a feel as to what that backcourt is going to look like. Mm -hmm. No, because we haven't had them. You know, I mean, this is this is really. You, you, you think back, we scrimmaged Purdue and Beetle and said, don't play. Um, Beetle has played hurt pretty much the whole year. He played the first game in Myrtle Beach and then he, and then he, then he hurt the same, the same hand again. It's hard to be a point guard when you don't have a hand. So, you know, I think he's, he's just now, uh, I think that today was good for him and I think he'll, he'll, Continue to make some strides as a point guard. He had no chance to be a point guard before. You know, that's why we're, you know, we're trying to work with now. We're trying to work with Jordan. Yesterday, Jordan, well, the last two days, Jordan was was way better than that. So we started. You know, I, I really believe that. You know, I know as a player, when when you when you play pretty well and and, and kick the guys behind, it's playing ahead of you, and then you never get back in the game. Don't get the game and play that guy ahead of you. It's frustrating. So, want to reward him for having good practices. I'd like to play Beetle off the ball, but unless we play Jermaine the point, I don't know. I don't know at this point in time what we're going to do. And, and there's no reason why Nap or Jordan aren't capable of doing it. They just haven't done it. But then again, we're through. We're playing a better schedule than we played before, guys. I mean, we're playing a better schedule. And that has a lot to do with it. You know, before we were playing, we were winning by 35 and 40, and you could set those guys, you could set you know, Jason and Dax down and play those other guys, and they got some experience there. It's, it's tough to get them the kind of experience that they got before. Issa said you guys, you and he had a talk after the last ball game, but he didn't really go into what was said, but he said the talk worked. Oh, uh, so you can't put that in paper. <laughs> Those are the, you know, when you put them like those, those like question marks and slashes and all that stuff. Like, you know. <laughs> Anything that in particular that worked from that uh, conversation or just uh, he just played harder? He played more within himself. You know, we, I, I, I think that he and Beal and sometimes Lamont, and they, they, they want to contribute and, and and they press, you know, rather than rather than just letting the game come to them. And I thought Issa, without a question, was doing that. I mean, he was turning it over at an alarming rate, and it was because he was pressing. And you know, I just I wanted to kind of get him get him slowed down to where he you know he was good today because he slowed down. He took really good shots. He didn't. He only ran over one guy today. That's a, that's a hell of a you know the monster. So should I use more exclamation marks when I say that the talk talk about that? Was there more uh, no, question marks or exclamation marks? It wasn't bad. A couple times that was my bit, but you know, after the game was you know, it was just do what you can do, man. You know? The, the, the fallacy is these guys think that they have to they have to uh, play off the dribble. Well nobody wants I mean nobody wants them to play off the dribble. Nobody. I mean, that's not but Issa's thing is he's really good off the ball. He's really good at curls. He made a he made a, a, a big basket for us today after a timeout where we, we ran a curl for him. And he's really good at that. He's really good at getting the shoulders turned and, and absorbing contact and scoring. Coach, when you're talking about like Issa pressing early on, how much of that just is... Just so good to see. I didn't see you sneak in there. <laughs> yeah. how, how much of that is just, you know, him, you know, being a senior and just trying to, you know, become the guy, so to speak, and you know, how much of that plays into something like that? Well, I don't know. You know, we dribble the ball too much. We don't. We don't have. We don't have guys that uh, can like just go by people and get it at the rim. And, and we're not very good at driving it and pitching it. We're not a. We're not a penetrating pitch deal. But we've had a lot of years like that, you know. We've had a lot of years like that, and but we passed the ball. We passed the ball. Our spacing was good. You know, there's there was there was a situation where one of our freshmen caught it on the wing. Issa was wide open in in the corner. I mean, wide open. 
he dribbled it twice like he was going like pulling the defense and then threw it decent. He didn't have to do that. He didn't need to dribble it twice. I mean, there are times you need to get in the gap and, and, and collapse the defense. That wasn't one of them. We just, we, we have this, Issa, Issa today, still today, I mean, fortunately he dribbled off of the other guy's foot, not his. You know? But just grab it and dribble it. That's bad basketball. I mean, they're they're in they're in the basketball guy in the, in the world that would say that's good basketball. It's bad basketball. Catch it, square up, and see what you got. You have to like a lot, only twelve turnovers today, and only only two from one person. Yeah, we're getting better. Um, we're, we have we have spent an enormous amount of time on. But Bob, our turnovers come from forcing things. Our turnovers are bad shots. They come from from forcing things, not not taking what we have. And I think we have enough guys if we could ever get them to just do what they can do and what they're good at doing, instead of trying to be somebody they're not. I think we'd have a pretty good team. But it's been a it's been a fist fight now to get them to do that. Well, particularly with with Ahmad, Culver, and Harris, could this be a good rebounding team, or at least that that line? Should be. Yeah, it should be. Derek pursues the ball as, as, as well as anybody we've had. Um, and he says he's historically been a particularly a good offensive rebounder. Wes, Wes has gotten hard rebounds for us. He got a couple hard ones again today. And Lamont's rebounded in the past. Coach, you were talking about the schedule, and obviously that you guys have played a lot of different systems and you know, philosophies over the course of the first 12. How much does that help you, you know, to prepare for what you know, this comment you guys are probably going to face coming out of the conference? Well, I don't know how much it helps our older guys, just you know, honestly, but I think it helps our younger guys. Yeah. Uh, what we tried to do was try to figure out who was picked to win their league and, and try to play all those people. The Rhode Island thing was, you know, that was an ESPN deal, and obviously the deal with Myrtle Beach was, was an ESPN deal. But aside from that, we tried to play people that we thought were could win their league and, and be in a tournament that would help us in March. We didn't come out of it as well as certainly we wanted to. You know, Western Kentucky beats Wisconsin last night by no figures. I mean, they're talented. They, they just... They're like most people, they don't play all the time. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Yeah.